Hi guys, I'm Buck Weezer, putting the do into do-it-yourself. I got a Craftsman mower here in front of me, and I just took the engine off of it, took the motor off, it's sitting right up here, it's a Honda engine. This, this mower came to me with the following complaint, it cuts the grass too short no matter what setting or what height I put the wheels at. It didn't take me long to figure out what was going on. Let me see if I can point it out to you. The mower deck is cracked, broken, on both sides. You might get a better look at it from underneath. You see that? So it's cracked and it's bent, making the front of the mower deck too close to the ground and the wheels are up too high. It can't be fixed. I guess you could get a new deck, but why? But I took the motor off and I thought it still sh should still be running. Maybe we could use it for another project. Over here, let me show you something. You see this guy? It's a Craftsman mower. I just got this guy on the side of the road. Yep, I trash picked it. I'm not too proud. Deck looks really good. It's not self propelled, but that deck looks really solid. The engine, however, looks to be in a sad state of affairs. Carburetor's missing, different things have been taken off. I don't know, maybe it could be fixed. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Why don't we take the Honda engine from this guy and put it on this guy? End up with one good mower. Hopefully we can get that accomplished without being too big of a deal. Let's get started. Okay. Let's take this motor off. We'll start by taking down the blade. And hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Under here, the impact with the 9 16 socket. Oop, wrong way. He's off pretty good. This guy doesn't actually have to come off because he's kind of stuck on there anyway. No big deal. We've got one, two, three half inch uh, bolts holding the engine to the frame. Let's try them next. One. He's not cooperating. Oh, he doesn't want to cooperate either. Well, let's try something a little beefier. That broke off. I kind of felt felt like that was going to happen. That's too bad. So when we get the engine off, I'll have to drill that out somehow. That's kind of disappointing, but it's par for the course. I think the same thing will happen to this guy. Yep, same thing. Well, the engine's off. So, that part was successful. Oh, wait a minute, what am I worrying about? We're not reusing this engine anyway. Sorry, people. First day on the job, I guess. All right, let's and here's our new, uh, our uh, good frame. So I think we should clean it off a little bit and uh, make it a little look a little nicer before we put that other engine on here. While we have the chance, certainly easier to do with the engine off. It's nice, doesn't it? Yeah, trash picked it. That other engine actually that was on it might be usable, fixable. But sometimes it's just not worth the trouble messing with. We 
would get this thing looking like practically brand new. I uh, I do this for a hobby, mostly, and we get it working. It becomes a reliable mower. I give it away to somebody who needs one. I like doing that. I certainly don't need another mower sitting around. I've also learned that I don't like using the equipment. I don't like mowing the lawn. I just like tinkering, fixing, keeping it running. Let somebody else do the work. So these decks are drilled to receive, it looks, it looks to be uh, an engine that has one, two, three, four bolts, or one, two, three. And I think the Honda engine that we're bringing over, like the one we took off, as you can see from the paint removed, parts where the paint's removed, was three. So let's see what it's going to look like. And uh, so this guy, two, three, four, I don't know. What this guy here, here. Here, here. Let's start by putting in one. And I'm gonna start with uh, this one right here from underneath. I wanna put some uh, lubricant on these threads first. Alright, so that guy went in. This guy right back there. So let me get that on. And then I'll have one more because I got three total bolts. And that should be enough to uh, hold this engine down. Now it's just a matter of tightening them down. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Engine's in place. I like it. Looks like a brand new machine. It's so awesome. Now I've realized that this uh, safety cable is frozen. It doesn't move inside. So I've got to replace that or get it off of the other machine. I might have a brand new one on hand actually that might work if we get lucky here. Let's attach this safety cable. In there like that. In there like that. That's here. And then the other part is up here. The handle. Well, you can see that. Might be better if I did this on the ground, disconnect it there. And then I gotta pry that guy off. All right, goodbye to that guy. This guy comes up, hooks onto there, bingo, and 
All right, and you can see right here, when I squeeze that handle, how it pulls this back. And release. Squeeze and release. I think that's good to go. Excellent. I've got a brand new air filter. And I've got a brand new name brand Honda air cleaner cover which had gone missing on this engine. So hopefully this one will stay in place. Great. Okay, so I've got a swap of the blade adapters from the two engines and they're a little tough to get off. Kind of frozen on there, maybe rusted on there. I'm gonna try getting it off with this two jaw gear puller. If I can get lucky here. Nope, not yet. Yeah, I better keep working on that. Well, since I wasn't able to get that uh, hub blade adapter off of the other crankshaft, I'm just going to use the blade that, you know, was on that particular engine. Now, the problem is, this guy here, it's three inches from the base of the engine to the bottom of the blade adapter. Whereas up here, from the base of the engine to the bottom of the blade adapter, three and a half inches. I think it will still work. Uh, it's just I'm gonna have le a half inch less of uh, adjustment for you know these wheels to how, how low or how high I can raise the blade. I still think we've got enough uh, play, we got enough uh, possibilities it will still be okay because so this guy's just not coming off he's rusted frozen on there and it's just not that important to me i'm just going to use the blade that came with that engine and stick it up on there and we should be good to go so let's put the blade up Okay, that's good. So yeah, I mean, we have a superfluous, unusable, unneeded pulley up here because this one does not have a self-propelled drive system. And our blade is actually a half an inch lower than the other, but I think it's still gonna work out just fine. And uh, just have to adjust the wheels a little bit differently. We still should be good to go. So let's put it on the ground and... Uh, uh, let me add some fuel, check the oil, and see if we're gonna get a uh, almost new looking mower out of this. Well. Here we go.
think that worked out pretty good. We've got a one good looking, good running mower and uh, only one that will end up having a scrap. So that feels pretty good getting some more life out of the good engine with the good deck and uh, we'll get that in the hands of someone who can use it. Even this one I'll be able to cull some parts, wheels, whatever, maybe there's some parts on this engine that we can take. So even as is, these aren't scrapped quite yet. So that feels pretty good and it wasn't really all that difficult to accomplish. I want to thank you for watching. I hope this has been of interest and help to you in your own lawnmower do-it-yourself projects. Um, feel free to leave a comment or a question if you have one. Do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and I will look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye-bye.